Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be one of the first people in Iowa to see new theater, Mirrorbox Theater in Cedar Rapids Time Check Neighborhood is the place to be. And the gentleman sitting next to us, uh, I want to make sure I say it right, Kevin Hallman. Close, Caven. Caven. I even said it right during the commercial break, too. <laughs> With us, the artistic director of Mirrorbox Theater. Thanks for being here this Thanks morning. Thanks for inviting me. Let's talk a little bit about what you guys have been up yeah. to. Yeah, so um, as you said, Catherine, we are a place for new theater. So we're actually the only theater in Iowa that exclusively does contemporary plays being performed in our state for the first time. And uh, we opened our own building in November in the Time Check neighborhood on Ellis Boulevard for uh, across from the Flamingo for okay. folks who yes. are familiar with that area and uh, yeah we've got lots of fun things coming up including a uh, new play festival featuring local writers and performers uh, this Sunday okay wow. and gotcha. what led you to feeling like we needed this space in Cedar Rapids theater yeah uh, here. Yeah, so I read this incredible article um, in American Theater a few years ago, and it was shortly after I moved here. And um, my um, my wife grew up not far from here, and she also uh, runs a nonprofit theater. She runs Theater Cedar Rapids yes. uh, here. And um, but when we were moving here, and I have a background in writing plays and in directing plays, and I had read this article in American Theater that said every great theater town deserves to have a company dedicated to new work mm -hmm. and um, and I I think for me really the soul of art is in is in creativity and in new things and that you know the Beatles uh, you know dear mr. postman is a great song but they were known for writing hey Jude and for yeah. get back the new things are, are really what um, what keep art alive yeah. well let's talk a little bit about the approach that you guys take to because you said it is different work. It mm -hmm. is challenging work. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so we really focus on these three core values, which are raw, relevant, and daring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this idea, um, the raw part is really that really with just a space and talented people and an incredible story, that's all it takes mm -hmm. to, to have an amazing time at the theater. And then the relevant piece is, again, you know, doing these contemporary works that are often tackling um, big relevant social issues of the day and then this idea of being daring of, of taking that risk of, of presenting new work mm -hmm. taking the risk to um, do work that might be a little more challenging or thought-provoking okay okay and you have other things happening too. you do improv shows yep. karaoke shows mm -hmm. I saw <laughs> something about a show tune rave <laughs> yeah um, I will be th at that <laughs> yeah, absolutely that <laughs> yeah yeah and, and I think that's that's that spirit of newness that we're trying to embrace that everything we're doing is, is hopefully capturing that spirit mm -hmm. of something new yes when you put a schedule together and when you put a season together you know how do you I mean what's the crowd response been like and obviously with it being a new space you kind of probably driving like the Blues Brothers through neighborhoods just yelling out a bullhorn, hey, come see us, right? Yeah, I, I mean, our, our mission um, in presenting these new works is, um, is both our superpower and is sometimes a challenge, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, people don't have um, that title recognition mm. that they have, you know, when they're like, oh, arsenic right. and old lace, I know exactly what that <laughs> is. Yeah. Uh, the sound of music. Yeah, yeah yes. ex exactly. Um, but, but it's also this opportunity that we don't have to deal with um, the expectations, you know, someone's not coming in and wondering, well, like, Julie Andrews did it differently mm -hmm. in Sound of Music. Very you know? true. So, so we have that, that opportunity, but sometimes it is a challenge, too, and one of the ways we're trying to approach that is by doing things like the, like the show tune rave or like mm -hmm. the karaoke show, things that have something that's a little bit more familiar, but still has that aspect of something new. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And the local 10. Yeah. That's happening this Sunday, mm -hmm. right? At 1 p.m.? At 1 p.m. And um, so I um, I really got my theater start in um, like Chicago, New York, some bigger places. And, um, and in those communities, it's pretty typical to have um, these, almost what you'd call like a DIY theater festival, mm -hmm. where um, you, um, have a call and you invite people who want to come and um, have that opportunity to showcase their work to practice their craft um, and in a way that's um, kind of free of, of any expectations you know and they they just get to come and have that experience of, of presenting something that's from the heart and, and we have some amazing artists in in this community so I'm glad that we get to do that website where folks can learn more about you guys mirrorboxtheater.com awesome wow. thanks so much for coming Thank in this morning so thanks for having 
Avenue. And check out yeah. Mirrorbox Local 10 this Sunday and everything else they're going to yeah. be offering. In the meantime, check out